Welcome to the Jesus Calling Podcast. Reba McIntyre is a country music legend who has had over 35 number one singles and over 56 million albums sold worldwide. Reba has become a beloved household name who has made her mark in film, television, theater, and retail. Her latest project, a gospel double CD entitled Sing It Now, Songs of Faith and Hope, recently won a Gospel Music Association Duff Award for Bluegrass Country Roots Album of the Year. Now Reba has gone on to record a new Christmas record called My Kind of Christmas. She shares her thoughts on Christmas and why, for many of us, Christmas can be a difficult time of the year, but also why she thinks it's important to find joy and to remember the reason for the season. You can start back when I was with, uh, you know, at home in in southeastern Oklahoma. We'd go over to Grandma's house, Mama's Mama. Uh, I was named after her. So her name is Reba Estelle Smith, and I'm Reba Nell McIntyre. But, of course, we'd always start the morning uh, opening gifts there at home in Chalky, Oklahoma, and then go over to to Grandma's house where Aunt Jenny and Aunt Virginia and Mama, all their kids, would be hanging out and playing and Having kids is, boy, it makes Christmas a different story because you get to see the delight in their eyes that you had as a kid. And then my uh, ex-husband's mother, uh, my mother-in-law, she would help tell the story about Joseph and Mary coming to Bethlehem and having baby Jesus in the stable and putting him in the manger. And then she'd bring a cake in and we'd sing, Happy Birthday, Jesus. Uh, because it was his birthday, and she got the kids. You know, this is why we're here. You know, these are gifts. That's the symbol of Jesus's birthday. And so then we'd open the gifts and we'd go on with our day. But those kind of holiday traditions are really cool to remind the kids, remind everybody the reason for the season. We do Thanksgiving and holidays, uh, Thanksgiving holiday in Oklahoma, and then I stay in Tennessee for Christmas. And it's me and Shelby Christmas morning, so. Um, uh, we're both kind of on a diet all the time, so I didn't bake a cake for him. But uh, with the little kids, I, you know, I think it's really cool that my kids, older kids, Shauna, Brandon, and Chas, and uh, I tell the stories to remind everybody that it's a great thing to tell their little kids, all kids of all ages, about why we're here for this season. Christmas is just a fun time of the year. I love uh, twinkly lights. I love sparkle in the snow. I like Christmas songs. We have the Christmas album out, and uh, to get to sing some of my songs off the Christmas album called My Kind of Christmas, and then get all my buddies to come on the show and sing it with me. Uh, My spiritual favorite song on the album is Mary Did You Know, and that's with Vince Gill and Amy Grant. Oh, my gosh, I just love the way they did that. The blind will see. The dead will live again. The lame will leave. The dumb will speak. The praises of the land. While we were recording that, he had his guitar out and he said, What if I put this on it? I said, Vince, it's a acoustic album. And he said, But what if I play this? I said, Yeah, you can. <laughs> I can't say no to Vince at all. And then Hard Candy Christmas, it's a real sad song, but you know, there's a lot of people that uh, Christmas is one of the saddest times of the year because they're alone, they're, they don't have family, it's cold, they need help with provisions and for you know electric bills, things like that, they just need help. And everybody's got a bigger heart at Christmas time because it is the season of giving, giving gifts, feeling charitable, helping out, more love. You know, for the last two Christmases, it's been a dreaded day, you know, because it's not the same. I've gone through a divorce, been two years, and I've just made a pact with myself that it's going to be positive. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to remember the reason for the season, and I'm going to include happiness and joy and the right things instead of being negative and wished it would have been and and how look back and and those days are past you got to live for today and and be ready for tomorrow what the good lord gives you 
So it's going to be a positive. They, I'm really turning over a new leaf for this next Christmas. There's a lot of things up ahead for me. We've got the Christmas album. We've got the CMA Christmas uh, special for the CMAs. And then we're going on tour next year. I've got a couple of scripts that I'm looking for for television. We've got a couple of uh, movie scripts we're looking at. So it's things are really kind of blossoming. And Christmas is right around the corner. So there's a lot of things. The Lord's been really, 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 really good to me. I'm very grateful. Reba has long made Jesus Calling a part of her prayer and devotional time. And now she also reads Jesus Always, the latest 365-day devotional from Sarah Young. Reba shares a passage that has special meaning to her from Jesus Always. I thought October 18th was really sweet. And I, I like to get a message that resonates with me. Go gently through this day, keeping your eyes on me. I will open up the way before you as you take steps of trust along your path. Sometimes the way before you appears to be blocked. If you focus on the obstacle or search for a way around it, you will probably go off course. Instead, focus on me, the shepherd, who is leading you along your life journey. Before you know it, the obstacle will be behind you, and you will hardly know how you pass through it. This is, the, this is the secret of success in my kingdom. Although you remain aware of the visible world around you, your primary awareness is of me. When, you're, when the road before you looks rocky, you can trust me to get you through that rough patch. My presence enables you to face each day with confidence. We think we have total control. We think we can handle all the messes we get ourselves into. We cannot. And if you just give it to God, he can handle it. Big boy's got the power. He knows how to take care of things and do it a lot better than we can. So it takes the stress off of us. That way we can function better. We're not worried. We're not stressed out because that'll make you sick. So if you're giving all that worry to God, letting him handle it, your day will be better. Reba's new record, My Kind of Christmas, is now available at Walmart. Next time on the Jesus Calling Podcast, we visit with the Green family, who own the largest chain of craft stores in America, Hobby Lobby. Steve Green is the CEO of Hobby Lobby and son of its founder, David Green. Steve and his wife, Jackie, are also the force behind the Museum of the Bible, which is now open in Washington, D.C. They all share about what it means as business people to operate under God's guidance. We want to operate our business according to biblical principles. That's what we strive to do, uh, making mistakes daily. But um, uh, that, that is what we want to do, and uh, which means that we are serving our customers as best we can, working hard, being fair, uh, paying our bills on time, all, all those kinds of uh, things that are what we are instructed in God's Word. Today's featured passage comes from the October 18th entry of the Jesus Always audiobook. Trust in my unfailing love, thanking me for the good you do not see. When evil seems to be flourishing in the world around you, it can look as if things are spinning out of control. But rest assured, I'm not wringing my hands helplessly, wondering what to do next. I am still in control, and there is behind the scenes goodness in the midst of the turmoil. So I urge you to thank me not only for the blessings you can see, but for the ones you cannot see. My wisdom and knowledge are deeper and richer than words can express. My judgments are unsearchable and my paths beyond tracing out. This is why trusting me at all times is so crucial. You must not let confusing circumstances shake your faith in me. When your world feels unsteady, the disciplines of trusting and thanking me serve to stabilize you. Remember, I am always with you. I guide you with my counsel, and afterward I will take you into glory. Let this hidden treasure, your heavenly inheritance, lead you into joyous thanksgiving. Hear more great stories about the impact Jesus Calling is having all over the world. Be sure to subscribe to the Jesus Calling podcast on iTunes. We value your reviews and comments so we can reach even more people with the message of Jesus Calling. And if you have your own story to share, we'd love to hear from you. Visit JesusCalling.com to share your story today.